Hello everyone. So today we are learning that how we can um, create three D models uh, from the LiDAR data, and also how we can explore those three uh, D models uh, by using ArcGIS Pro. So the sensor that the LiDAR sensor that I used was a very a simple one. So it is not a professional one, which means that it is not cannot uh, does not have a GPS unit. So those points are not geo-reference, and also it has very low uh, point density. Uh, so if you are using a professional uh, LiDAR sensor, and so you may check the other video tutorials. So here I'm using a sensor like this, uh, and of course you can check my previous video that how uh, you can use that type of the LiDAR sensor and also create, uh, collect those points and also create 3D models. Uh, all right. So if you do not have a sensor, uh, you can just go to my um, GitHub, um, and where I do provide this demo data, which is in the PLY format. Uh, so if you view the data, and you can see it's not georeferenced, uh, it's a PLY file, where it has those uh, four columns. So those are just uh, the relative distance between the sensor and the target in the x, y, z dimension, and also the last uh, column is the signal strength. So it's a very simple data set. Uh, let's download this data set uh, to our local computer. OK, uh, next, uh, so we are going to use the mesh lab uh, to create the 3D models. Uh, so I already installed mesh lab, which is a free a tool so uh, you can just go ahead and also install the mesh lab and then we are going to import uh, the LiDAR points so I think I'm going to choose import mesh uh, and I will go to my downloads folder so that is the PLY file that I uh, downloaded from my github and see here you can see those 3D uh, those LiDAR points uh, and if you see that uh, this giant circle, so that is where the sensor was located, uh, because the sensor cannot scan itself. So we have this uh, circle, um, and actually, it's pretty much hard to see um, uh, what we have scanned, um, um, mainly because that I'm using a non-professional sensor, a very cheap sensor, and um, that we have very low point density, so it's hard to tell the details. However, MeshLab is able to convert uh, those points uh, into a 3D model. So if we go to the filters, and uh, if we go to the point sets, uh, let's compute uh, the normal uh, for point sets. Uh, normally, I will accept the default settings. So I say apply. Uh, and then we go ahead and let's create the, that 3D model. So we go again, go back to the filters. Um, this time we're going to reconstruction, and then we're going to uh, go and find out the surface reconstruction. And I'm going to use in the screen person algorithm. Uh, so if you're interested in this um, algorithm, and you can check this article. And also you can just try to use different uh, different um, settings. Uh, so I will just use the default one and I will hit apply. Okay, and then I will choose close. So now you can see we have this uh, 3D model. Again, it's not that fancy uh, because uh, the low point density. All right, so now we have those 3D models. So we are able to so see we want to uh, edit the model a little bit. So for example, we want to delete this uh, part and also this part because those are generated from the noise. Uh, so we can do that by using other uh, 3D editing tools. And the one that I use uh, is called uh, Mesh Mixer, so because it is a free one. So let's first export the 3D model. So let's say export the mesh as. Uh, so we can export this one as the STL file. So STL. And uh, let's just call it uh, 3D. And save that, and we just 
accept a default setting. All right, and now we let's go to the mesh lab and let's import the STL file that we just created. So you can see here I have, I have this 3D STL file. And then we are able to do some very simple um, editing. So I'm using my uh, right key on my mouse to rotate the 3D models. And I'm using the middle key of my mouse to zoom in and also zoom out. So for example, I can just choose the select tool and I just drag um, uh, this circle and make sure that this is selected, so that it's highlighted. And I can just delete. So just press the delete key on the keyboard. Uh, and then I can also delete this tiny part. So uh, to, delete part, to delete this part, so I'm going to change my view and also zoom in a little bit and also drag this circle so I don't want to delete my model. So now um, this part has been highlighted and I just click, uh, press delete key. All right, so now I have this model. So um, you can still see some uh, details. So this was in the room where we have two vending machines. So those are the two. Those are parts that where we have those vending machines. So that's uh, and also I guess this is probably we have the air conditions. Uh, I'm not sure. So uh, anyway, so that is our uh, 3D model. Uh, so let's also export this uh, 3D model. So we can export this one into an OBG cell. So let's see 3D. Let's call it final. Okay, so that is an OBG file. All right. Um, uh, so now if we go to our uh, folder, we can see we have actually three files. Uh, the PLY, uh, the original file, so which contains the LiDAR points. Um, and also we convert that into a 3D model by using uh, the uh, mesh lab. And then we polish that model by using the mesh mixer. So now we have this OBG file. All right, uh, so now we are ready to explore this 3D model uh, by using an ArcGIS Pro. So uh, let's go ahead and start ArcGIS Pro. Um, because this time we are going to look at the 3D data. So we are going to choose a local thing. Uh, let's give the name that this is our false lab. And as we did earlier, so let's put everything to our uh, OneDrive folder. All right, and now let's start this project. So once the project uh, is started, so uh, by default, ArcGIS Pro is not able to view those OBG files, um, just as we did in the GPS lab. So we need to convert that file into the 3D features or the 3D data that uh, ArcGIS Pro is able to recognize. Uh, so let's go to the analysis and let's open the ArcGIS tool toolbox. Okay, so here, so if you are using the professional LiDAR data, so you may have the LAS file. So see, you have LAS file, and then you can just import those LAS files directly into ArcGIS Pro. However, since we are using a non-professional uh, LiDAR sensor, so the data that we have um, it's PLY file, and then we convert that one to the OBG file. So, so then we're going to use a different tool, which is called uh, import 3D file. Okay, so basically you can import any type of 3D file, so not only created by LiDAR points, probably that like the 3D file that you created by using uh, photos, etc. So based on any type of the 3D files. So I'm going to choose uh, the import file, uh, which is in my uh, downloads folder. And we're using this 3D final uh, OBG. All right, and uh, so it will be uh, import into our uh, geodatabase, the default geodatabase. So let's run this one. And 
uh, that may take uh, a few seconds. Okay, uh, so now you can see my 3D file has been imported, and also we have this warning that it is unknown coordinate system, and that is because our data are not is not georeferenced, so we are not able to identify or look at uh, have the the correct uh, coordination. So since it is not georeferenced, uh, so let's just uncheck those maps uh, because. Uh, we are not able to locate the location uh, of those of this 3D model. And let's first let's look at the the attribute table. So here we can see we have one row. Okay, and let's just simply have the uh, the information is just just the the file name. And if we right click this layer and we can also let's say zoom to the layer. Okay, and now you can see we are able to see the 3D model. So now I'm using my uh, middle key of the mouse to rotate the model. Okay. Uh, if you're not able to use your the middle key of your mouse to rotate the model, and you can just click this icon, uh, this arrow. Okay, and you can just drag this circle okay, to view the model. Okay, so this is a way that you can view pretty much any type of 3D models uh, in ArcGIS Pro. And also, there's something that we can also do. So, for example, if we check the properties and uh, like source, uh, we also see that there is no uh, coordination again because the data itself is not georeferenced. So we don't know the latitude, longitude of those data set. Um, we can also simply change. Uh, the colors. So if we go to the feature layer, and we choose the symbology, and we change the symbol, and now you can see that ArcGIS Pro has some um, pre-built uh, template. So for example, if I want to give it a green color, okay, and I can do that. Uh, you can also enable or disable the lighting, lightning. Um, so that will give a different effect and also you can also change those options. Um, uh, next let's say we are trying to marry the data. So because it is not georeferenced, so actually a lot of the 3D analysis um, uh, will not work here. So for example if I try to mirror and I want to mirror the let's say the height. Uh, so I start from the uh, bottom to the top, and you can see the the result is not accurate. So again, it this is a building, uh, a room inside of our uh, building, so our uh, size building. Uh, you can see the height cannot be uh, two hundred and sixty four meters. So uh, probably just two point six meter, not two hundred and sixty meters. So uh, the result is not accurate. Uh, we also have some other uh, 3D exploratory analysis. Uh, uh, so if you have a professional uh, LiDAR data, so probably you can try those analysis. Um, so for this data set, which is not due reference, so one thing that we can probably try is called the slice. So slice will allow us to see the inside of this model. So let's say let's zoom in a little bit, and let's say we want to have a vertical plane to slide. And now you just click and place that plane, and also you can choose the size. Okay, and now you can see the inside of this uh, 3D model. So let's say rotate. Okay, so you're able to see the inside, and you can also move the move the cursor or move the plane to see different parts of the models. 